All right. This is another unboxing. This time this is going to be for a pair of Solomons that I just bought. My teammates are trying to convince me to sign up for the Spartan race. If I'm going to do the Spartan race, I want to make sure that I'm comfortable. I had one teammate a couple years ago run wearing the Solomon Speedcross 3s, but they were Vortex. So the water just stayed in her shoes the whole race. She didn't seem to mind, but I prefer to be comfortable when I run so I bought a new pair called the S Labs for soft ground. I think it's S Lab XT or something like that. And I apologize again for the angle and movement of the camera. I don't have my camera stand again. Lab 5 soft ground. And if you can't already tell, my favorite colors lately have been black and red. I just noticed one day all my stuff just tended to be black and red. So I said I might as well go along with it. like fabric bumper, rubber toe bumper, this is two different materials though, this is more sticky and grippy, this is more smooth, same down here, this is pretty sticky, and this is EVA foam. looks like it's meant for if you're going downhill this will probably give you good traction and that's probably for a good toe off the bumper is most likely for if you're running through a trail and there's a lot of roots sticking up or stones I've bumped my toe into a stone once and I thought I was going to break my toe off oh is that a quick lacing system? had a pair of speed cross threes or I have a pair of speed cross threes that's where you tuck the excess lace in once you tighten your shoestrings this comes that's it yeah instructions on how to take care of it So it looks like you're supposed to just use water and a brush. I'm not sticking in the washing machine. With a light in the sole. It doesn't feel removable. No, it is removable. Okay, it's just wedged in there pretty good. It's pretty thick. And let's see how flexible this is. Very flexible. So apparently this shoe is supposed to be for when you're running on a trail that's just soft ground. The dirt hasn't been compacted and turned to dust. So these are supposed to sink in just enough to give you traction. So not meant for deep mud, but not meant for strictly pavement either. I 
again I don't have a manicure or pedicure so I apologize if this doesn't look very ladylike I have just enough room for my toes to wiggle a little bit as I stated before I usually wear a size 7 Speed cross threes, I had to buy six and a half because it just seemed way too big. And I tried my mom's one first, so I knew what to buy. All right, so these are probably gonna be what I wear on my next trail run. I believe this Sunday we might go out and hit a middle school football field either that or we're going to hit the hills again so i'll let you know how it goes